a very good question. So we have less uh, women in the parliament than uh, in the last 20 years. So it's really a backlash. It has to do with the rules in the different parties. So if it comes to the Green Party, we have a quota system guaranteeing that at least 50% are women. So in the group, in the Green Group, we have around 57, 58% of women in the group. But the others, conservatives, less than 20%, liberals around 23%, the extreme right wing, uh, about around 10%. So I think uh, it's a responsibility of the parties to change their uh, rules um, and to guarantee that women are really, can be really elected. And if the parties don't do it, uh, we should uh, establish kind of parité laws that guarantees really equal participation. And it's not only a question of numbers, it's not the number question, but it's a question of quality of politics because there's a different approach of women. If there's a woman in the defense committee, that's a different approach than men. And it's important that men are also in a committee dealing with uh, questions of family, of, of children, or senior people. So um, it's a question of quality and democracy. I think, first of all, there is this cliché. You ask always, are women capable to do it? Are they strong enough? And if a woman uh, declares, I want to have power, then you I looked a little bit at this would be too machismo. So this is really, there are different, uh, you treat w women in politics completely different than men. For example, a, a, a woman that has two children, she will get in an interview the question, how can you combine being a politician and a mother? But the father was never asked this question. And uh, there is a wonderful documentary now in the German cinemas on women in the 60s, 70s uh, being elected to the parliament. And there's an interview of one liberal woman. She was asked in the beginning 70s, in the 70s, uh, how do you combine being mother and parliamentarian? And exactly this question was asked uh, the, the female candidate for chancellery during our election campaign in these weeks. How can you combine being mother of two children with uh, your idea to become chancellor? So this is really gender-based, the approach. And the second, and this is really concerns me a lot and uh, is really dangerous, that there is harassment hate speech and sexual uh, attacks against women. There's, there's really sexism um, come stronger than ever I remember. And I know some young politicians, some, some women, they decided not to be candidate anymore or to give up even a candidature. And that's really dangerous if they, if they succeed in, in reducing us back to family life, mother life, so this backlash, which is really this pressure of masculinists worldwide against women, um, then, um, then we lose a lot. <laughs>